गाइस दिस इज अभिषेक फ्रॉम गैजिस्टूज एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू द क्विक अनबॉक्सिंग एंड क्विक रिव्यू ऑफ एल जी के टेन विच इज लॉन्चिंग इन इंडिया फॉर एन अफोर्डेबल प्राइस ऑफ अप्रॉक्सीमेटली फोर्टीन थाउजेंड रुपीज विच इज द एम आर पी विच इज मैंशन ऑन द इंडिया रिटेल पैकेज विच वी हैव गॉट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डू द फुल रिव्यू ऑफ दिस फोन वी विल ऑल्सो टेल यू वट ऑल इज देयर ऑन द फोन एज पर द प्राइस यू आर पेइंग फॉर इट एंड अगेन बिफोर आई कंटिन्यू आई वुड लाइक टू हाईलाइट द फैक्ट दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी ओपन द बॉक्स एंड वी हैव यूज दिस डिवाइस फॉर अप्रॉक्सीमेटली थ्री टू फोर डेज बिफोर प्रोड्यूसिंग दिस रिव्यू सो वी हैव ओपन द बॉक्स यूज द डिवाइस एंड नाउ वी आर शोइंग द बॉक्स कंटेंट्स लेट मी स्टार्ट विद द रिव्यू and i would like to first of all talk about the box contents so let's start with the unboxing do you open the box the first thing which you will see inside the package is going to be the device which does not have battery inside so the battery is separately packed within the box itself and it will come in this plastic packaging as you can see so there is a plastic layering which can protect the display from any kind of scratches and here you have got another thing which is there from the package as well and this is a flip cover which comes within the package the quality again is good and the finishing of this flip cover is also nice it has got a nice plastic covering over there at the back side which is again feeling good when you rub your hand on it and again the overall look and feel of this flip cover is also pretty good it has got a nice design as well which does make it slightly different from the other flip covers which you might have seen because there is a translucent glass over there on the flip side with which you can see things what is happening on the phone you get some user manual as well you also get a charger within the package as well but this is not even a 1 ampere charger the output current from this charger is going to be 0.85 ampere which is going to charge this device in approximately 2 to 3 hours and that is the amount of time it will take for charging you get a micro usb cable as well within the package thing which you get within the package is a set of earphones and these are plastic earphones which you get within the package and these are again average in terms of the build quality and sound quality as well. Well, the last thing which you get within the package is the battery which is 2300 mAh and again for a device like this which has got a 5.3 inch display this battery is not sufficient but still it can actually last for a day in case you are a power user you will have to charge the phone at the end of the day let's start talking about the LG K10 and the first thing i would like to talk about is the design and build quality in terms of the overall design the design of LG K10 is definitely different compared to what we have seen so far from LG as far as affordable phones are concerned it has got this nice texture over there which you can easily feel and grip the phone properly because of that texture and the finishing of the material at the back cover is also very nice it gives you a very good grip and the phone is also quite light in terms of the weight it is around 142 g in terms of the weight and thickness wise it is only 8.8 mm on the front top you can see that we have a nice curved glass which is a 2.5d glass which we have on this device we have 5 megapixel fixed focus camera proximity and embed light sensors and you have a nice metal earpiece which is near the edge of the phone as we remove the back cover we could see that we have support for dual sim on this phone so it will support two nano sim inside and again both of these sim card will support 4g as well and you have a support for micro sd memory card and you have a dedicated slot for that so you can actually expand the storage in case the storage is a problem on this phone as per your usage bottom edge of the phone has got a micro usb port for data syncing and charging a 3.5 mm audio jack and you have primary microphone hole over there as well and the curve profile of the device really feels nice when you hold this phone in hand it has a very nice curvy feel which you can easily see from this angle top edge of the phone has got secondary microphone for noise cancellation and there is no connectivity over there on the top part as far as back cover is concerned the back cover is the most stylish part of this phone as far as look and feel is concerned it feels very nice in hand it also looks very good compared to the regular looking phone which we have seen in the same price segment this phone definitely looks far better in terms of looks we have got a ips lcd display on this device which is a 720p display and again the pixel clarity is good enough on a device like this which has got 5.3 inch it is again not 5.5 inch but 5.3 inch is again good for one hand usage and in terms of the display clarity it has great viewing angles outdoor visibility the display is also good and overall the color protection of the display is good for indoor usage and for outdoor usage it is again good if not great At the rear back we have got a 13 megapixel camera which is an auto focus camera it has got LED flash as well on the right and it can record high definition video as well you have also got power and sleep key and the volume rocker in the same way you see these buttons designed for the G series phones which come from LG so this is a nice move LG has taken and they have given that kind of a design over there on the K series which is a comparatively affordable series of phones which they will launch in India As we moved on to the memory internal storage configuration and internal settings for the phone we went to the settings and find out that the version of android which we have on this device is again not marshmallow but it is android 5.1 lollipop apart from that on the storage front it has got a storage of approximately 16 gb which is again good not bad 
out of the 16 GB storage which it has, 10 GB is user available, which is again good. And you do have some application which are coming pre-installed, but you can get rid of these application in case you would like to uninstall them. You can uninstall these applications as well, which are coming pre-installed on the phone, but only some of the application can be uninstalled. Not all of them can be uninstalled from the phone. Out of the 2 GB of RAM which this device actually has, 1.4 GB of RAM was available on average basis. But again, 1.6 GB of RAM was available when we took it out for the first time. And on the first boot, that much amount of RAM was available. Overall, the amount of RAM which we have on this device is good for day-to-day -day usage and normal usage scenarios. In case you are a heavy user, in case you play games a lot, then this phone might give you slight issues when you play some heavy games. But otherwise, casual games can run smoothly with this much amount of RAM and the kind of user interface it has. Moving towards the camera performance of this phone, we have got a 13 megapixel sensor at the back side and again in daylight the photos which we took from this device were clear in terms of details as well as in terms of colors as well, they were pretty nice and the display does a pretty good job in terms of outdoor visibility and showing you the kind of colors you have got in the photos which you take in daylight scenarios and the overall clarity of the photos in daylight was good whereas when we took the photos in low light we could not see that much of clarity but again these shots were looking good. The camera interface gives you a lot of options like camera grid, you can change the expect ratio, you can record high definition video, you can record slow motion video as well and all these things can be done on this device with the camera interface it has and the kind of features you get with it. As we move towards the gaming part, we tested the gaming performance of this device and we played Dead Trigger 2. Again, it is not a very heavy graphic intensive game, but it is a decent graphic intensive game which can be used to test the overall performance of the phone. It looks like that we could play this game pretty smoothly without any kind of graphic issues or any kind of lag. The overall performance of the device in terms of gaming is good, if not great. It has got Snapdragon 410 which has got Adreno 305 GPU, which is again decent for gaming, but if you play some heavy games, like Modern Combat 5 or Asphalt 8, you will notice graphic lag on this device and a lot of glitch and frame drops as well when you play these heavy games on this phone. But otherwise for casual gaming, this is a decent phone. This is all we have as far as the quick unboxing and quick review of LG K10, which is going to be an affordable device under 15,000 rupees from LG. The only cons of this device has to be the hardware, which is old because you are getting Snapdragon 410, which is available for much lesser price less than 10,000 rupees whereas this one is going to be around 10 to 15,000 rupees in terms of the price apart from that the build quality is good on this device the display clarity is also good viewing angles are also very nice the overall look and feel of the device is also quite premium it has got new kind of layout which was the layout you have seen in premium high-end devices from LG so overall LG has done in terms of the look and feel of this device in terms of the overall form factor making this device lighter making the camera performance good if not great and overall it is a good phone but for the hardware it is kind of an old phone in case you would like to avoid this phone only avoid it on the basis of hardware otherwise it is a good phone in terms of build quality and design and in terms of the overall day-to-day -day usage and scenarios and again it is definitely better than some of the other chinese phones which you get in the market for the same price this is all we have as far as the quick hands-on review of lg k10 in case you have any queries and questions please leave your queries and questions in the comment section below you can like this video this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching the video this is abhishek signing off thank you